Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm talking today about a special offer that Skyloom Software has on Aurora HDR 2018. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the details. It's a great offer. So let me show you that, and here we go. Now the other thing I'm gonna talk about is I'm gonna walk through an edit of a photo uh, and share a couple things like that. So it's kind of an Aurora HDR sort of show today, if you call this a show. Um, it's a special offer on Aurora. Now I wanna clarify, the price of the software is not discounted. So you're thinking, what kind of offer is that? Um, but the truth is it's a great one and I'll explain why. Uh, current users can upgrade for $59, but if you use my coupon code, you can get it for $49. Coupon code is Gemnix. You just type that in, in the little coupon code section on the uh, store checkout uh, site on Skyloom uh, uh, on AuroraHDR.com. And also, new users can get it for $99, which is the normal price, $89 using my coupon code. And this starts today, and it's good until July 4th. Here's the, the deal. It's called a special offer because although the price is not discounted from its normal price, however, again, use the coupon code GYMNIX and save 10 bucks. And by the way, I make a couple bucks if you do that. So you're helping me out, which allows me to keep making all these fun free videos. Um, but there are a bunch of bonus offers, so they're calling it a special offer, and the bonus offers are great. It's actually a really good deal, so that's why I wanted to share this with you. As you can see here, uh, first you get 119 sky overlays, so that's a $29 value, and so the sky overlays allow you to add a new layer and put a new sky on a photo, which is super fun and cool, and I do that a lot with Aurora, and I do that a lot with Luminar, simply because, unfortunately, <laughs> I end up with crappy skies in some of my photos. We all do, right? Um, Here's the big win in this special offer, and this is this next point here, which is you get Trey, uh, you probably know who Trey Ratcliffe is. He's the one that co-developed Aurora HDR with Skyloom, and he's you know super famous photographer, great guy, wicked smart, great photographer, all that stuff. But he has a complete HDR tutorial that he sells on his website for $99. You get that for free. Now let me show you, if you go to his website, let me just bring up um, that right here. His website's stuck in customs. And if you scroll down and click over here under photography tutorials, that'll open this page. There's an Aurora tutorial, but don't skip that. Go to complete HDR tutorial 3.0, $99. You get six hours of instruction. You get his raw image files and things like that. There's a little video about it, and there's a bunch of stuff here talking about it. So the point is you get all that stuff which I think is a great deal. That's worth $99 by itself. So it's kind of like you buy the tutorial, you get the software for free, or buy the software, you get the tutorial for free. You, you figure out how you decide you wanna look at it. The point is you're getting something for free and it's, it's a really valuable something because that's his complete tutorial, which uh, as a co-developer of the software, I haven't seen the tutorial, I must say, but I have to imagine he's got lots of tips and tricks that are gonna be really useful, especially if you're a new user. So I think that's a great value. And there's also a deep dive video that they sell um, on the Skyloom software website for 20 bucks that you can get included in this special offer. So pay um, $89, because it would be 99, but you save 10 using coupon code GYMNIX, and you get 119 sky overlays, you get his complete h tutorial, and you get his deep dive. So pretty amazing stuff. The reason they're doing this special offer, uh, and there's a pretty picture about it, right? So total value, you get it for 89 bucks, you get all these bonuses, limited time offer. Um, the reason why, and I move to my next slide here, the reason why they're doing this special offer is they have a performance update that's out today. So you're getting a speed boost in Aurora. It's now faster than before, both Windows and Mac. There's a ton of improvements, and I'll show you a list of those, uh, especially in the Windows uh, version. So you Windows users are gonna be really happy with this stuff. Um, they're integrating Loop Deck, and I'll talk about that in a second. They're doing batch processing for Windows, better memory management, and more cameras are supported than ever before. So there's a lot of stuff under the hood. Um, here's the Windows improvements. I just made a slide about it. There's a bunch of stuff, and I'm not gonna bore you to death by reading all of this. You can pause the video and read it. You can also go to my blog. I'll put a link down below. I've got a blog post about all this stuff if you wanna check it out. Here's a screenshot also on my blog post of uh, that's using a Dell Inspiron laptop and uh, so obviously that's Windows and here's all the performance increases with a bracketing raw file or single raw file. Mac users are gonna be happy as well too. Performance boost, faster export. There is loop deck integration. Hey Jim, what's this loop deck thing? I'll tell you in a minute. Um, 
more cameras supported, things like that. So there's performance increases for Mac users as well. Regardless of which OS you're on, I think you're going to be happy with it. It's a great deal at $89 using my coupon code and getting uh, performance increases plus overlays plus all the video stuff. It's pretty cool. And then here is a screenshot of all the performance improvements uh, running on a MacBook Pro, so clearly on the Apple operating system. Um, so that's what's happening. It's a performance update with a special offer with great bonuses. And use my coupon code to save 10 bucks. Again, that's an affiliate thing. I make a couple bucks on that, which is a huge help to me. And so I appreciate it if you do that. And if you use somebody else's coupon code, great. That's fine too. Just take advantage of the offer if you're interested in Aurora. Loop Deck. That's a picture of what a loop deck is. It's this little keyboard thing right here. And basically, um, so um, let me back up. Last October, I was invited by Skyloom to go work their booth at PPE, Photo Plus Expo in New York. So I was up there for a few days working the booth. It was crazy, but a couple of guys came by and they were with Loop Deck. And so I started talking to them and I got a demo. And at the time, it was only working on Lightroom. But it's basically like a keyboard, but it's got all these dob, uh, sorry, knobs and dials and sliders and you can move them around and it'll help you make changes to your photos so instead of trying to move a mouse which i do a lot on my macbook pro i'm moving the mouse around and doing things you can actually use knobs and dials to spin the uh you know adjustment sliders with them so there's a lot of things and you can learn more about that on um, the loop deck website as well as um i'm sure skyloom will be talking about it and in fact i've got one of these i think that's in route to me and so once I have a chance to check it out and really dive in, I'll, I'll share some uh, more information about it. But it's really cool, and it's just an alternative way of making adjustments to your photos. And that's it for my little slideshow. Um, what I want to do now is share with you a photo. And so this is a bracket set that I shot on the beach in Oregon. And it was a sunset, and that's the it's a three-exposure bracket. As you can see, that's the dark one. That's the middle one. And that's the light one. I shot these handheld. I saw that person and I thought, that's kind of cool. So I merged those into an HDR and I made it really colorful because I like colors. I can't help it. Sorry. I'm not going to apologize. Actually, I take that back. I'm not apologizing. Um, I'm not sorry. Um, I just like it. And it might be too saturated for you. That's okay. That's an easy change in um, Aurora. So let me talk about that and just jump into Aurora. So here we are. Um, this is not a full tutorial on Aurora. I do, however, have a whole lot of tutorials on Aurora. I'll put a link, actually I'll put it uh, in one of these uh, corners. I can never remember which one it is. I think it's that one, but it might be that one. I don't know, people, I can't remember these things. Way too old for that. Um, but I do remember how to use Aurora, and that's what you're here for. So um, I've got a lengthy list of tutorials you can check out. So you get all Trey's uh, bonus stuff, which I, I'm sure is awesome. You also get all my stuff, which is free here on YouTube. So I merged them, and that was the middle exposure. This is the blended HDR that I'm starting with. Uh, tone mapping was applied. I also checked to align them and that sort of thing because I did shoot it handheld. So I went into the HDR basic filter, and let me just turn that on. You can see I made a temperature adjustment there, added some contrast. I used HDR enhance to bring up a little bit of punch. Just a, just a little punch, right? And then I used Smart Tone and, and used Highlights and Shadows to basically manage the light. And so you can see from the beginning to there, um, come a decent way, really. And that's the beauty of the HDR Basic panel. It's very powerful. Uh, and then I moved on to Color. And with Color, um, you'll see that I, I did go kind of blue, right? So I bumped up the vibrance quite a bit and I increased the color contrast. So it made a big impact on the photo. Again, I was going for that kind of blue hour kind of look, but I wanted to bring some of those oranges with, uh, with it, if you will. Um, next up was Image Radiance, and I like Image Radiance. It gives kind of a, a romantic feel, kind of a fantasy look to the photo. Kind of makes it a little contrasty and a little bit punchier, but there's the before, there's the after. Adds a little bit of shadow, a little drama. I just like it. It's just a fun filter. I also added some warmth with that and some vividness, so it bumped up the colors a little bit. And let me show you that one more time there to there. Getting getting to be the photo that I want it to be. Um, then I went to Glow. And so Glow, um, as you can see, it just kind of lightens some of the brighter parts. It takes the bright parts and gives them a little bit of oomph, I guess. I don't know if oomph is the right word. This is not a technical webinar, as you can tell. Um, but I give it a little glow and I gave that a little warmth as well. So there I went from that. And if you mostly look here in the brighter part of the image, you can see 
it gets a little bit more glow. And that's because partly with the image radiance and the contrast adjustments and things like that, I have the photo looking a little bit darker. There it was. So that I use the glow to brighten it a little bit because it was sunset and I, yeah, I, wanna, I don't want it to be too dark. So, uh, and then last but not least, I did top and bottom tuning on this layer. Um, for the top, and the beauty of this filter, by the way, is you can set the orientation. You just click on that and you can drag it up and down and make adjustments to divide the top from the bottom. But here, I just add a little bit of vibrance and warmth to the top. So let me show you that again before and after, just a little bit there. And then the bottom, you can see I increase the exposure and the contrast, as well as adding in vibrance and warmth uh, increases as well. So basically I did a whole lot in the bottom and that was really because I wanna accentuate that reflection. I love reflections, I just absolutely adore reflections. And so when you can get wet sand and you get these cool clouds, you know, you get sort of this pattern where it almost looks like an X uh, coming across the photo and I wanted to accentuate that, hence the contrast and that sort of things that I did with top and bottom tuning. So that's a great filter. And that's a quick review of what I did on that layer, but I'm not done. So I went and added a new layer, and this new layer, it was just one filter, and that was this HDR structure. And basically what I, oops, let me show you what I did. Uh, let me show you the before. If you look at it, you can see, it's not really noise, but you can see some, a little bit of detail um, in the clouds, a little bit of structure there. And what I wanted to do is make it kind of dreamy and soft, and so, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could add denoise and just denoise uh, you know, a whole bunch of the photo, or you can add structure but go negative. And so I went in here and went negative with the structure and increased the softness and the boost. And basically, um, then I just erased that from this little piece of the photo where these hills are and the beach is. So basically applied it across you know, 90% of the photo just with a brush. And as you can see, if you look closely, there's the before, a bit more structure and clarity in the clouds, and now a bit more softer, but also, if you look at the sand, a lot softer there, and, and I really like that. Um, I wanted, again, kind of a soft, dreamy, almost fantasy look, hence me using glow and image radiance on the previous layer. But on, that, uh, on this layer, I just took structure, and that's the only filter I used. You can see it's orange. Everything else that's white means I haven't used it yet. And that was how I did that layer. And of course, I did use a brush, as I said. Let me show you. I can just show you the mask. There it is. I erased it from that section, left it everywhere else. Uh, and then one more layer just to fix one thing. And the thing that I fixed here is the water was really too blue. Let me show you again. Uh, there's the water. Really too blue looking. The, the seas is not that blue. This is not an afternoon in the Caribbean. Uh, this is the Oregon coast during, uh, you know, post-storm. Um, and the water's just not that blue. Um, so I went in and I just took the, uh, the color filter and I just took the saturation and vibrance down. And then I took my brush and I just, let me show you, I just masked that into that part. This part over here wasn't looking bad at all. And in fact, that piece right there was picking up that orange and I wanted to leave that. So I deliberately stopped where I stopped. But that's what I did. I just created a quick mask and uh, reduce the saturation in it just to get rid of some of that blue in the water. And that's my final photo. So let me show you the before and after, right? Dramatic uh, difference, and I think it looks awesome. I'm kind of biased, it's my photo, so I'm gonna think that. Um, and there's the before and after, full screen, before and after. That's the beauty of Aurora HDR. Lots of capability, layers, you know, denoise, which you could use denoise. I use negative structure to kind of achieve the same thing. Wonderful tone mapping algorithm that gives you a natural look and uh, you can take it from there to go creative and fantasy-like like I kind of did here or to do a more natural sort of toned HDR image and really anything in between. In fact, you can go much crazier than I did if you want to do some extreme HDR. You've got all these great filters. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just really wanted to show you a quick workflow to help you understand the power of Aurora HDR because it's really powerful. Great product. I use it exclusively for my HDR photos, as does Trey and many other people. But if you want to act now, you can click the link below, um, and that'll take you to the Skyloom store where you can buy Aurora HDR. For $99, use my coupon code GYMNIX to take $10 off, and you'll be glad you did get all those bonus videos from Trey. And I hope it helps, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos. If you have any questions, 
Drop a comment down below, hit like, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon, friends. Thanks for watching. Take care and adios.